Tomorrow is BC's first family day, but what about children who have no family? Children waiting and hoping to be adopted. V. Cooper introduces us to Choices, one of four adoption agencies in our province. I come from here, Peru, and Papi come from here, Iran. Talk about an international family. Seven-year-old Liera and her nine-year-old sister Joselina arrived from an orphanage in Peru a year and a half ago to join the Akavans. Our whole family is quite multicultural on both sides. Um, we have family all over the world. Tina and Tony have been married for nearly 30 years. We kind of felt like there was something missing and uh, in terms of both purpose and, and the energy. The energy from a house full of kids because the Akavans have already raised two sons. We had our children fairly young. Armand is now 20, almost 28 and Khalil is 21 and we just felt very empty in our house. So we enjoy each other but um, the house was very empty and we really wanted some more children. Choices Adoption, Brandy speaking. The Akavans approached Choices Adoption and Counseling Services and learned about the great need for loving parents. There are many, many children waiting in our own province um, at any one time, close to 1,400 children, and international, uh, many, many children. Choices sees application from couples of all ages. I think, you know, economically perhaps, people are waiting longer to um, create a family and maybe are having difficulty doing so. Um, want to reach out to children who are available around the world to offer a, a permanent home. Tina and Tony asked for siblings. There were al always three of us, three boys, me and, you know, our sons, and Tina was always, you know, the only girl in the house. And, you know, we were always quiet, eating dinner, and she likes to have conversation. Nobody wants to talk. <laughs> And now it's the other way around. Who's her now? <laughs> the Akavan's older sons are thrilled to have two little sisters. And Tina and Tony, well, I'll let them explain. You know, if we hadn't de decided to adopt, we would have been some doing something totally different with our lives. And I think uh, in comparison, it just whatever we could have done just fades away. And it's wonderful. The man gave chocolate. Just so happy to have more children to raise. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.